On this episode of What's On Your Plate, I got Michael Price back. Healthiness isn't just a mindset, it's a lifestyle. When I started my fitness journey, I realized that one of the best ways to improve my health was to change the way I approach food. People tend to think that eating healthy means you can't enjoy what you're eating. So we started a catering company to show that good food and healthy living can go hand in hand. Join us as we combine food and fitness and find out what's on your plate. Welcome to What's on Your Plate. I'm Junior Wakefield, and my special co-host today is... Michael Price. Michael Price. Price. Michael, that is. Price is right. The Price. <laughs> How you doing, Michael? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Doing good. 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 Are you nervous? Not at all. Oh, good. Glad to be on the show. Again, yes. Again. Okay. Mm -hmm. and you and Hunter Smith are uh, battling it out to see who's going to be on the show the most besides me. You accept bribes? Most, most definitely. <laughs> most, yes. Uh, yeah. How much? Well, that's off the air. That's off the air. Okay. Well, we're on Facebook Live, and he was singing Bad Boys just a minute ago. So, good. Trying to bump your ratings up. You know? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, you singing Bad Boys, I don't think it's going to bump up the viewership. It could be. We could be on a comedy show or something. So, we were thinking about Laurel and Hardy, or um, I think we did um, The Little Rascals Mel we did Gibson, last time. Danny Glover. Yeah, I'm probably the one who's the most um, adventurous. So, well, good. Well, welcome. Welcome back. Thank you. So, the last time you were on the show, um, we talked about your weight loss journey uh, of about 170, 180 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and as we go along, you are pretty much staying in control of your portion size. I am. And how was that tough to do? Especially because, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> Uh, we were on a trip in Montana. We went hiking. Mm -hmm. um, you've been hiking in Arkansas. Uh, you stay active. We still work out. So how is portion control still maintained? Honestly, it's, it's hard, especially with our workouts, because you notice a difference in the fuel that your body needs. So, for example, I, I lowered my portions too much, and I, I didn't have enough energy. So when we were working out, I didn't have enough energy. I was just going through the motions. So now I've upped my portions, still, still controlling them, but I've upped my consumption, my calorie intake, and I have a lot more energy. But I've, okay. gained, but I've gained five pounds. Okay. But I have energy to push through and continue to go stronger and harder. So it's, it's finding that right balance, which is tough. Now, you, uh, <laughs> even when you, you say you gained five pounds, I don't think you've put on five pounds of fat. I think you've put on five pounds of muscle. 100%. And, uh, boy, I don't have any pictures right now, and I probably should have put some out there. But since you and I go back and forth on me putting out pictures, I'll, I'll leave it alone. But um, do you see a difference in definition? I do. Um, as you always say, everybody else sees the difference. I don't. Um, you try and look at the positives. You try every day, but you, you tend to just see the flaws, unfortunately. And you know, until you until I get to that that look that I'm striving for, I'm not going to be satisfied. So I'm just going to keep pushing. Okay. Well, <clears throat> then keep pushing. Now, when you when we were in Montana, and you were climbing the mountain, how'd that feel? Great. I want to keep going. How'd that feel when you got to the top? Great. Amazing. Got beautiful pictures. I wanted to keep going. I wanted to do it again. Okay. So. And so now the thing that I think that's exciting is is from where you were when you started years ago to where you're at now and to be able to climb a mountain and to want to climb another mountain and to continue to keep pushing yourself to hiking. How do you feel about that? Amazing. Incredible. It was incredible. It was, it was good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you were motivated because I was there. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I know that you got to throw out to Kelly Smith. You got to throw out to Hunter. You got to give a shout out to Connor and Leslie and Bill and Patricia uh, did we forget anybody? I appreciate you being secretary today. Listen yeah, to most, yeah. I have to do that. there you go. So you didn't have to say all that. I didn't. Now, we got some food for you to taste. I uh, got portion control. 
So what I did is I changed some things up. I made some mashed potatoes that are a little bit different. They don't look like your normal mashed potatoes. Uh, so I added a little different spice to it. I also have a chicken pasta that I, I put together. And also one of the fam my famous corn dish that I threw a little bit more flavor in there. Now, because the portion sizes are, is that what you consider would be a portion size or would that be too much? That's too much. That's too much. That was yeah. just too much for you. And this is what this would be your lunch. Yes. I try and space it out every couple hours and also by eating every couple hours I don't eat as much because mm -hmm. I'm I'm using food for fuel instead of just trying to eat just to, to eat to eat and, and also <clears throat> just to get satisfied right okay right right to keep going okay now go ahead and grab that plate and then grab the fork and then I want you to taste some of the different flavors and then uh, tell me what you think we will do start with the mashed potatoes Got a little, it's not a hot spice, but it's just a spice to it. A little like different. A, a little different, like a, like a chili taste to it. Does that make sense? <laughs> that is true. They have good flavor, though. Very good flavor. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a pumpkin pie fan. Okay, neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> I love sweet potatoes. So <laughs> I, to, to do something different, that's where we do the uh, pumpkin pie in. Okay, we'll try the chicken pasta. I like sweet potato fries. I oh, D, there you go. Fresh chicken. Yep. Good consistency on the <sighs> pasta. Excuse me. Looks like you've got some zucchini and some squash in here. Now, the zucchini was the thing that was different. <clears throat> and that's a shout out to Patricia Dixon. Mm -hmm. Patricia always doing some good, different stuff. That is true. It's good. Good flavor. Good. And I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't eat a lot of pasta. I don't eat a lot of carbs. I okay. mean, I do to maintain, but not... Like, I lowered my intake of... of I'm not zero carbs, but just less pastas, less breads. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't do that. Okay. Now, here we go. Try the corn. That's incredible. It's incredibly dangerous. This is the type of stuff that you could sit in front of the football game mm -hmm. and just eat. And just eat. That's dangerous. You would have to watch your portion control with that. Yeah, put it, yep. I was going to say, put it with the cracker. That's one of the things that I was telling Andrew, uh, the producer, is to try it with the cracker. Because you're going to, the, wow. the flavors I think are going to jump out. They do. A little spice kick to it. A little spice, roasted corn. Mm hmm. But almost like a queso. <clears throat> good yeah it's good Jimmy. now let me also give a shout out again to patricia dixon for the greek yogurt that was added in there are you serious yep <laughs> trying to trick me isn't that good it is well good That's good good. now you don't have to you don't have to try the pumpkin pie unless you just really want to i'll try but it. there is whipped cream on there and i don't know what people say when it says it tastes like sweet potatoes it doesn't it's sweet though; it has good flavor. I'm just not a, a pumpkin fan. I'm not a pumpkin fan either. <clears throat> I'm not a spice lattes and pumpkin spice, and don't do nothing for me. Okay. So, what do you think about the overall dish? It's good. It's very good. Potatoes are phenomenal. I'd be more apt to do this corn with like a roasted meat or something mm. with the mashed potatoes. Mm. I'm a, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like I said, I don't do a lot of pastas, but. And then I would portion it out, take it for meals. You okay. I mean? Lunches, dinners, whatnot. But it's good. It's very good. Well, good, good. I'm well, glad you like it. I'll do it. So when you, when you do the portion, when you do portion control, and that's one of the things that a lot of people have trouble with is trying to get portion control in because they're, they're so used to, or let me put it back. The days that I was growing up is you had to finish everything on your plate. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the same with you. Mm -hmm. So now the things back then were a lot more healthier compared to today. And even though you don't have to finish your plate today, you're getting more a lot of a lot of more carbs, a lot of more butters, a lot of more uh, different flavors, um, and a lot more calories and, and 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 things in dishes with smaller amounts 
So do you count your calories? Do you just said you watch your carbs? What else do you do to help maintain? You know, we've covered this. A lot of people cover this. You know, I, I try and stay on the outside of the grocery store. Things that will perish, perishable stuff, mm -hmm. stuff that's preserved or in boxes that um, is you have to make is not healthy, in my opinion. There you go. <clears throat> I take. I also like. I'll go to the store and get um, the small Tupperwares, the little bowls, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and portion out in there, and that helps me. I don't count calories. I'm a big guy. For me to count calories, I would never meet my caloric intake because I would, if I eat one chicken breast and a thing of broccoli, it's a filling meal, but I would never touch my my amount of calories I'm supposed to get in a day. So I, I'm you and I, I we're in, we're in the agreement on the same on the same thing. Now before we leave, do you have a shout out to anybody? Shout out to Holly. Shout out to Holly. Yeah, I'm waiting for her to come on the show as well. So. Holly Tally, there you go. Holly Tally, you got an invite to come on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to anybody else? Uh, shout out to Kelly. Like I said, she's she's got a new modeling gig from what I understand. Oh, so. shout out to Kelly Smith and her yeah, new modeling so. gig. Yeah. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Summer Smith, and who is a young entrepreneur. Brand and uh, Beverly Wills. Beverly, Beverly Wills, Wills online. Yeah. We're giving a shout out to them. So uh, hopefully you need she'll to, get a uh, you know a male modeling gig going for me. Male new, modeling gig, new clothes you? line, something you know. <laughs> okay, okay okay shout out to hunter uh bozo beats uh shout out to my dad my dad has been under the weather for the last couple of weeks uh shout out to him so hope you're uh hope you're feeling better shout out to the family um shout out to all the workout groups and also all your plano groups. plano groups that you have uh working out with you uh we also want to give a shout out to andrew our producer he always comes in gives us that two minute warning and also tries the food ahead of time <laughs> to make sure that we're good uh and shout out to jeff krilly um uh, Sarah, Dallas, Josh, and the whole Real News PR staff. Hopefully the food was great and they enjoyed it. By looking out there, most of it's gone, so I'm kind of excited about that. Michael Price, always a pleasure to have you here on the show. Uh, we get the opportunity to be able to, to talk, and you know we've been friends for a long time. Um, and it's, it's amazing. I still, I still am amazed by your journey from going down to 180 pounds, or 170, 180 pounds, and also still maintain it, also with the workout. So great job on that. Appreciate and appreciate it. you being on the show. And uh, we'll have Michael Price back next week. He didn't know that was coming. But anyway. Anytime you want me to come try food, I'm more than. So see, there you go. So Michael Price will be coming back again. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if we can kind of make this a regular thing at least once a week. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed What's on Your Plate. I'm Junior Wakefield with uh, Just Saying Kitchen Catering. And my special co-host, Michael Price, is going to close us out. So, Michael, go ahead and say. Go ahead and what? Tell everybody goodbye. Oh, I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and reach out to us to cater your next event.